Welcome everyone to Torn TV's presentation of Spazcar. I'm your host, Gamertag Spazter Ian. Today's event sees the return of the series that's dedicated to fair and close competition and overall fun. Having stepped away from the console and back to its originating form, Spazcar now resides in the VHR stock car mod for R Factor. Spazcar will be rotating 10 week series utilizing the IROC add on and sim racing in the truck, nationwide, and cup cars. Spazcar will run on the PC using R Factor and the excellent VHR stock car mod and will run on Tuesday nights. For more info, catch them over on Facebook or drop them a line at spazcar at yahoo.com. According to the organizers, this is going to be a competitively fun series. And all drivers that are willing to keep this in mind, regardless of their skill set, are welcome to inquire about participation. If you're an uber serious driver that takes offense to contact in racing, well, then this may not be the series for you. Remember, as someone once said, Rubbin's racing boys. Well, so far the high banks of Daytona didn't disappoint us in race number one. If you'd like to sponsor a segment or be a series sponsor, go ahead and contact us at TornTV at gmail.com for more information on how you or your company can take part in all the action. Today, the Spazcar IROC series heads across the country and drops into Wine Country, USA, Sonoma, California. Move on to race number two at Infineon Raceway. Today's event allows for open tuning on the IROC Camaros and, as always, particularly Participation is not mandatory here at Spazcar. Some of the things to look for today, will tire wear be a factor here with some possibly aggressive setup, or will the demanding course take its toll on the drivers? Are we going to see anyone dominate today, or will it be another back and forth fight like we saw at Daytona? Well, we're going to have to see here in a minute as to what kind of action unfolds. So let's get you off to the track and the start of the PPA 2.0 at Infineon. <music> thing to take note of missing on the grid here today at the PPA 2.0 is the number 10 of Seahawks who was sidelined with a communications breakdown. So here's our starting lineup. On the pole setting a spaz car record time of 1.13 the red number 11 of Stinky. On the outside of him in the second spot, the number 39 green IROC of Jarhead making his first run here in Spazcar. Row number two on the inside, we see the gray number 26 of Boza who was runner up at Daytona in that exciting finish. On the outside of him in the fourth spot, the purple number 43 of Spazter Ian. And on the third road, we find the light purple double zero of Lawyer, who had a great run last week despite being taken out in the last corner at Daytona. And our final starting spot, the dark red number 32 of Old Slow Fred, who also had a great run at Daytona. Let's get you off to the action now. All right, field is set to take the green. Green flag, we're underway here at Infineon. Oh, Jarhead out in the grass, but he's able to save it. Up the hills and through the corners, Field doing well, and we see that Stinky's already pulling out to a sizable lead. With Stinky taking the top spot here today in qualifying, he was the class of the field in practice. It's going to be interesting to see if anyone has anything for him today. See the 39 car of Jarhead closing in on Boza into the hairpin. And we got a battle for fourth and fifth between Lawyer and Spaz behind them. Out of the chicane and onto the front stretch, Jarhead running in third. Still got this battle with Lawyer running in fourth. And Spaz in fifth closing in. Spaz on the bumper of Lawyer up the hill. Up through the turns, Spaz keeping pressure on Lawyer. Oh, 
Well, a little contact at the top of the hill here. Spaz looking on the inside. Side by side, down into turn number four. Lawyer with the line, down the chute. Spaz breaking hard into turn number seven. Oh, he can't get it slowed up, and Lawyer's looking at the crossover. Lawyer on the right of the 43 car backs out of it and gives the 43 the line through the chicanes, and the 43 is up to four. The double zero car keeping him in his sights. It's a good battle between these two in the early going. Oh, 43 car in the grass. Meanwhile, battle for second in the hairpin. Bozo wide, both cars locking it up. Jarhead on his inside. As they come out of 11, Bozo with the momentum will hang on to second place. Jarhead keeping the pressure on Boza up through the hills. Oh, 39 car gets loose and Jarhead spins out in the dirt. Oh, and then he gets slammed by the 43 car. And the rest of the field will get by them. Let's grab our Spaz car onboard cam and see what happened here. See Spaz coming at full speed, and then as smoke clears, boom, Jarhead was right across the track in front of him. Spaz tried to avoid him, but he didn't quite make it. Oh, and as he gets going, Lawyer gets into the back of him. With no full course caution here, that's going to have the field well spread out, and Spaz and Jarhead will be at the back of the pack. End of lap number three here, we see the 43 car has caught up to the fourth place, and Jarhead isn't too far behind him. Spaz on the bumper of the number 32 car at the line, and as they come into one, Spaz on the inside of Fred. Fred gives him the room, and Spaz darts up to fourth into turn number two. Fall along here with Jarhead into turn number seven. We see Spaz up ahead, locks the brakes. And Fred breaks late. That's gonna allow Jarhead to have a look on the inside. And out of seven, Jarhead up to fifth. See the 43 car is a little ahead of him now and he'll have his work cut out for him to catch up. Let's go ahead and grab our Spaz car track lap here and show you what Infineon looks like from the driver's point of view. Let's ride along with Lawyer Forever here. That's what it's like inside one of these IROCs here at Infineon. Coming on to lap number eight. Oh, Lawyer misses his braking point. Smacks the tire wall. Oh, he's able to keep going, but he's got some damage though. That's gonna allow Jarhead to get by him. That'll move Lawyer back to fourth. Jarhead got by Spaz a little bit earlier in the race, so he's now up to third. So Jarhead recovering from that earlier spin has worked his way back up to the third spot, but now is far back from the leaders. That'll have old slow Fred in fifth, and the 43 car of Spaz struggling here at Infineon is back in sixth. Turn our attention to our leader here on lap number nine. He's way out front with no one in sight. Nice clean run. See the second place of Boza is almost five seconds back of him.
And then another five seconds back, we've got the third place of the 39 car of Jarhead trying to do his best to catch Boza. See, Laurier with that damage after contacting the tire wall a lap earlier, he's a good distance back and forth. It seems to be about a five second spread between these top four positions. We do have a battle here for fifth as Spaz tries to work the outside of Fred out of turn number seven, and he'll get it. Oh, but then he slides off the track and Fred's gonna move back up to the fifth position. 43 card just not finding the groove here at Infineon. Going to move ahead to lap number 13 here where the officials have called a full course caution for a mandatory pit stop and a field regrouping. Spazgar does his best to offer a competitive and fun event for all the drivers involved, so at times this type of action is implemented. See the cars are in and being serviced and they're getting back underway. That's going to allow the field to tighten back up again. So with the field once together again, the racing gets back underway and Stinky leads them off. Stinky and Boza, both a great restart. They're going to distance themselves a little bit from the field. Down the back chicanes here. Lawyer gets a good line and puts a little distance between him and an off-roading Fred and the 43 car. See Spaz looking on the inside of Fred. He'll fall back into line as they approach the hairpin. Lawyer into the hairpin with Fred and Spaz in tow. Fred over the rumble strip, closes the gap on the double zero car. Oh, but he loses grip, and back there we can see the 43 car is spun. One lap later, out of seven, we see Fred is pressuring Lawyer. Lawyer with the traction out of seven will put some space between him and the 32 car. Fred's doing his best now to reel the double zero car back in, down through the chicanes. Up front, we see Boza hitting the dirt. Jarhead's far enough back, though, not to be a threat. However, one lap later, Jarhead has closed the gap on Boza. See, Boza gets a good run out of 11. Down the front stretch as we ride along with Jarhead. him working hard to catch Boza up the hills and through the corners. Ooh, Boza a little wide through four. And as they come down the chute into seven, we see a little tire lock up off the 26 car. Drivers pretty even down the back part of the track. Battle developing now for fourth on lap number 18. 43 car has gotten by Fred and he's closed the distance between him and Lawyer. Up through turns one and two, Spaz closing. Through three, Spaz looking on the inside. Lawyer clean through four. He opens it up a bit down the chute. Ooh, into seven. Both drivers breaking late and hard. Spaz closing the gap. Through turn number eight, Spaz races by Lawyer on the inside. He got a great line through there. I think he caught Lawyer off guard with that move. In the turn nine, we see Lawyer closing up. Baz with a good run out of 10. Lap 19, battle possibly developing for second. Jarhead has closed the gap between him and Boza once again. We'll follow along here on the last lap and see if Jarhead can make the pass on Boza. Out of turn two, Jarhead within two car lengths now. Ooh, on the bumper into turn three. Out of turn three, Boza opens it up a little bit. Ooh, Jarhead locks it up into four. Down the chute, there's about a 10 car length spread. See, coming out of seven, Jarhead closes. Boza with a good run out of seven, though, keeps the distance between them. 
Drivers pretty even through the chicanes. Jarhead closing into 10. Jarhead looking to set up Boza for turn 11. Boza locks him up, goes wide, and he hits the tires. Jarhead on the inside. It's going to be a drag race to the finish. Boza somehow finds traction out of 11, and he pulls ahead. Oh, now Jarhead scrapes the wall, and Boza's going to hang on to the second position. Wow, what a finish for those two as Jarhead... He nails the tire wall at the end of the race. So an unchallenged Stinky walks away with Infineon. If you or your company would like to get in on the action here with Spazcar, go ahead and contact us at TornTV at gmail.com. Congratulations goes out to Stinky on a job well done. So your results here at Infineon. Stinky got the win. Good battling between Boza and Jarhead at the end there. And we had a good battle with Spaz and Lawyer for that fourth and fifth spot. And Old Slow Fred rounded out the field. Seahawks was credited with seventh, even though he wasn't able to take the green. So our highlights from race two from Infineon. Stinky picks up three extra points for leading the lap the most laps and for winning the pole. We had a small turnout in California. Only six drivers showed. Could have been the cross-country track or the fact that some drivers aren't crazy about the road courses. Spazgar doesn't mind. We had Seahawks 1 miss the green flag. He did get on the grid and qualify. However, communications breakdown prevented him from making the race. Our big story of the race, of course, was Stinky's dominance. He walked away with it all. And the road courses can be challenging. Some of the drivers consider it a refreshing change in the venue. Some of the drivers prefer not to attend. That's a great thing about Spazcar. You're not mandated to run every event. So our point standings after race number two, Stinky up in the lead with 21 points. We got Boza in second, Tony in third. We see Spazder Ian in the fourth place, Lawyer in fifth, Old Slow Fred in sixth, Jarhead, first appearance, up to seventh, F1 Fan, Seahawks Fan, Timberwolf, and Dan Wheat rounds out the standings. Today's event was brought to you by... Thanks for hanging out at the Online Racers Network. If you or your company would like to get involved in some of the action that's going on here, go ahead and contact us at TornTV at gmail.com. Next week, we're off to Vegas. Make sure you stay tuned. Until next time, keep racing.